Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. From the book of Psalm chapter 4 and verse 2 onwards, we read, How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? God is speaking to us this morning. He's asking us a question. How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. Hallelujah. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Why would somebody question us? like this it is only when we have concern questions are not asked here to condemn but questions are asked to bring us back into that love relationship with god so god is saying how long O you sons of men will you turn my glory to shame because we have been very busy in self-glorification feeding into our ego and our pride and by doing so we have troubled the heart of God. Whoever is listening to the word of God this morning, God has set you apart, my dear brother. God has set you apart, my dear sister, this morning. He has set you apart for what? For himself. Let's examine our lives and look at things that has caused us to walk away from God. It could be a friend, it could be a television program, it could be a meal, it could be an outing, it could be anything at all. If God has called us for a purpose and we, are, we have to be focused in that calling, but rather many a times we choose to walk away say, God, okay, this is fine, but not for now. I'll come back to you a little later. What are we causing God? We are hurting his heart. We are breaking the heart of God. Let's examine our relationship with people. What kind of people that we are relating ourselves with? Are they godly people? Or are they worldly people? Because worldly people will always try to drag us into the worldly things. Godly people will always try to get us in, 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 into the presence of God. Let's pray. Father, Although we are living in the world, we are not from this world. Because you have called us into your heavenly kingdom. We are citizens of the heavenly kingdom. Help us, Lord, to identify the things that causes us to sin. Father, we pray that we choose, O oh God, we choose to walk in that closer relationship with you, O Master. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to live this godly life pleasing and acceptable unto you. In Jesus' name, amen.